What's good, Josh? Your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, we thought the EDP 445 saga was done. Uh, you guys had let me know that uh, his uh, channel, I believe both his channels on YouTube, had got terminated. And the Chick Goldstein channel that was ex trying to expose EDP, they got terminated as well. Everybody wins for the most part, I guess you can say justice was somewhat served, even though EDP didn't get really any like jail time. And I don't think he will get any jail time only because the Chet Goldstein crew, the way they were trying to run the sting operation wouldn't really fly too well in, in uh, the court of law or in the justice system because of just how they were maneuvering. So he pretty much will get off scot-free. But the silver lining was his channel uh, had got taken down and Chet Goldstein's channel had got taken down. So everybody was like, all right, well, they won't be on, on YouTube or really any social media platform like that because they're done. All right, cool. Well, apparently EDP445 has uh, come back. And he's on Facebook basically uh trying to make his return all right so we're gonna check out what edp has to say apparently he has some breaking news his official website will be coming out and uh, the movement will continue so we're gonna see how this plays out man uh let's see what edp is talking about all right motherfucker was cracking with it it's your boy and eat that 405 so, um, just want to let you guys know, man, EDP445.com um, is coming soon. Been, been about like a week, maybe two weeks from now. Um, I'm going to have a fucking website up and fucking pop it and shit. You know, um, you know that's where I'm going to be posting all of my um, new videos, and shit, you know, over there up on the website. You know what I mean? Um, you know, continuing to fucking eat that pussy movement, letting us feel it, and straight whipping our fucking I'm pissing all over my feel me so with that being said man edp445.com it's coming soon um nigga this website is gonna be lack lacking know about that all right what what the fuck was that like what well clearly he does not care that he got caught in 4k trying to mess around with a, a underage girl even though check goes in there's some assholes too but still he clearly doesn't care let's read some of these comments man not gonna lie it's weird seeing you put this tough persona for the camera again after seeing you act act well i think he meant to say weak when confronted in person voice cracks and all EDP 445, to be honest, bro, your career is over. I would stay off the internet and find something else to do. The situation you are in, you can't come back from. It will never be like it was. If you if you are serious, get yourself some help. I really hope you do. I'm still a fan of your comedy. P.S. I'm a fan of the work, not the person. See, that's the thing. That's the thing. I mean, maybe, you know, he probably had some cool content that people were liking, but it's like, it sucks because it's like, yo, I, I can't rock with you. You know what I'm saying? I can't even support you because you want some other stuff, bro. Like, this is not what's up. Honestly, everyone wants him to make an apology video, but from a legal perspective, assuming he's consulting a lawyer, that would be self-incriminating, so you can't expect him to make an apology. I'm just saying do starting your own website is the last thing you should be doing you just got caught doing the most disgraceful thing ever moms would not be proud of you brian there must be somebody he knows personally what the hell this man admitted to everything about getting when you got busted was literally walking to the apartment of what he believed a 13 year old girl and this nigga thinks he can just come back and everything be okay bro i watched you and your your own world crumble right before your eyes. It's over. Get some fucking help, you creep. And there's a lot of comments. A lot of comments is just, you know, kind of going in on him, obviously. So, will people subscribe to his uh, his uh, website? I'm sure people will. There's going to be people that don't give a damn that he was trying to solicit some activities from a young woman. You know what I'm saying? An underage child. Like, I understand that's 
that's a thing people really don't give a damn about. The fact is, how many people will support him is the question. Because he had a pretty nice sized fan base. I'm going to be honest with you. I've seen a few of his videos before this whole thing went down. I know some of you guys wanted us to check out some of his videos to do a reaction to. Um, but honestly, man, if you support this, if you support this guy by subscribing to his website, something wrong with you, man. This is this is one of those things where he, he's not even remorseful about it. He doesn't care. And that's the problem. So, yeah, EDP is... He's going to do what he can to try to make some money on the internet. And that's fine. Cool. But the dude really needs help. And I don't know if he has anyone close to him that's that really cares about him. That's letting him know, hey, bro, you need some help. You starting up a website should be the last thing. But, hey, that's just my personal opinion. So, comment down below. Let me know. Would you guys support EDP after finding out what... He was trying to do and trying to link up with an underage uh, girl. Would you guys still support his website? Or are you still on the, nah, I'm good on that guy. He needs help. Fuck him. I'm I'm, I'm not supporting anything he does. He Anything he does, he's a clown. I'm good on that. Comment down below. Let me know. I would like your guys' thoughts and opinions on this, man. But, yeah. I appreciate y'all kicking it with me, man. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace. I ain't gonna lie to you, I don't, yo, I, I don't even know what to say, that was, yo, he's just, he's a, he's a strange individual.